Hi everyone. Today I'm going to read you one of my dad's stories from when he was a kid back in the 30s. It's called Rum Runner. My poor mother worked in a paper recycling plant. It was hard work and very little pay, so all of us kids did all we could to help out our family. Anytime somebody says, hey kid, you want to make a buck? I would jump at the chance. That's how I became a rum runner at 13. Just one time though. A man came up to me and asked, hey kid, can you drive a car? Heck yes, I sure can. Well, the only car I ever drove had no engine in it. We practiced shifting gears in it in my friend's backyard. Well, you see that car over there? He asked. Yep, I said. Drive it to the alley behind the Rainbow Theater. Know where that is at, kid? Yes, I sure do. Well, just park it and take it off. Got it? Yes, sir. Here's five bucks. Now remember, Rainbow Theater Alley, then scram. I got in the car and started the engine, okay? Then I started my slow, jerky trip <laughs> down the alley. I don't think I got it out of first gear. I was getting high on fumes. The back end was loaded with five gallon cans of booze. Well, I finally met it, made it to the back of the alley and parked the car and started to walk away. I heard a large door open, but before I could look around, the car was inside and gone. When I gave mom the $5, she asked, how did you get this? When I told mom, she almost fainted. Don't you ever do that again. Heck, I said I wouldn't, but I used to go that way every day, just in case that guy was back looking for someone to drive his car. That was my dad's story. And, and uh, yes, he, he told <coughs> with much more vigor when he was, yeah, my dog is trying to get into the act here. Sorry, I'm going to give her her bone back. Go ahead. <laughs> I took it away because all she was doing was squeaking as I was trying to read the story. So that's that's the way things go when you have a puppy in the house. Squeak, squeak. Until she tears apart. Until next time, that's all there is from Sunny Book Farm.